Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Brent Hunsaker. And I'm Natalie Hurst. A bill that would create a new five-tiered sex offender registry is now moving forward in the Senate. The new system could end up costing taxpayers over $1.4 million in the first year alone. Glenn Beebe live with our top story. And Glenn, why is this necessary? Well, lawmakers say it's necessary because the Idaho Supreme Court ruled back in 2009 that the current system for the sex offender registry is unconstitutional because it doesn't allow for proper due process. Now, the bill was voted out of committee with unanimous support and will now head to the floor of the Senate to be voted on further. After the initial cost, the system would be an extra for extra staff would cost just over $900,000 per year to maintain. Level one would represent low risk, while level five would represent high risk offenders. Now the offenders crime and other factors would determine the level. Under the proposal, all sex offenders would be put at a level four and could make their way down to lower levels over time with evaluations, but that doesn't mean they can't move back up. It is possible that offenders level placement would increase if behaviors and risk factors um, indicate a higher risk for sexual reoffense. Evans says under their proposal, certain sexual crimes would automatically put an offender at level five with no chance of moving off the system. Now, this bill just creates the main structure for a new sex offender registry. Uh, the Department of Correction says they would have until July of 2016 to actually get all the rules in place and tinker with them. Some lawmakers did have concerns over the exact details of some of those rules. Back to you.